<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. It's always giggles when Chef Brian West <laughs> is in the kitchen. It's another fabulous West Wednesday. The chef is here, and oh. today you are making tequila avocado shrimp saute. Yes. That, there's a lot happening there in yeah, that title. I think we should just call it shrimp patron. How about Ooh, that? Ooh, I it's got like a nice little that. Roll, roll with it. It's kind of a little spin on a dish that came out in the 1950s um, called uh, shrimp acapulco. It's when the the French started going international and trying to dip into other little uh, cuisines, and uh -huh. they started kind of, the, their approach was to take French techniques and apply them to the local ingredients. So nowadays, when we go international, we go full on. So with full, it. So, on full on, trip around so, the world. Hence the, the amount of butter I've got <laughs> like, here. So. Yeah, you know it's good when you start with <laughs> exactly. that much. Exactly. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to start off, we've got a nice little hot pan here. Okay. I've got some Gulf shrimp. Get those going. A little olive oil in there, huh? Just a little olive oil to kind of get the game going. Shrimp are very lean. They have no fat in them, so they uh, they need a little bit of hard fat Ooh. to kind of get them going. It's gonna You're pop. You're not We're even gonna... afraid of that pop. Oh no! Such a no manly way. man. The next, <laughs> thank you. Compliments will get Welcome. you everywhere. I, I know. Say. I know. We're, <laughs> We're gonna throw in a little bit of butter just to kind of get the party going. Um, some tomato. The tomatoes have like a little natural thickening element to uh -huh. them, so that's gonna kind of help with the, the overall sauce in the saute. We're gonna move these around. You can already smell the brine on that shrimp. I don't normally so see people saute tomatoes. That's interesting. Oh yeah, they're definitely, the Italians do it all the time. Oh yeah, well yeah. I haven't been to Italy yet, so. <laughs> Next show. It's on my bucket. <laughs> yes, we should go to the Italy. Show. You guys always go, you go south, you should go to Europe, see what yes. happens. So I'm gonna add a little lime, because we all know tequila and lime oh, go yeah. really well together. So I'm gonna help that. Do you ever make this at home? I have in the past, yeah. It's really, really popular. With, um, with your family, with, with your little family. group. Philip loves it. He loves the tequila. Is so. he, uh, if y'all haven't seen his son, Philip, how old is he now? Is he, he driving is, yet? He I feel eight. like he, he he's eight. eight. Yeah, eight going on 18. And it, does he really get in the kitchen with you? Does he, he love does. it? He really likes it when we make pizza and stuff like that. He loves chopping. I have, mm -hmm. well, he's got his own little set of knives, and that's really cool. He has so his own set of knives oh, at yeah, eight? Yeah, you've got oh to. Gosh. So this is where it's going to get a little tricky. I've got my Patron here. I'm going to use the Blanco here, uh -huh. which is the cleanest. And we're going to just pile it in there, and it's, we're hoping that it gets a little bit of an ignition here. It smells so good. Doesn't that smell awesome? Mm -hmm. A little more citrus. This is very refreshing and light. It I'm really a fan. Is. Just a little bit of chili. And the shrimp are just about done. I was going to ask how long it takes to cook those guys. Uh, you're looking at probably a minute and a half, two minutes. Not and bad. you know you can also eat them a little medium rare as well. Mm -hmm. So while that's getting all happy, I'm going to do my last step. Not the oh prettiest boy. avocado, but we're going to go with it. That looks like the ones I pick at the store. I always yeah. try to pick the good ones, and they're always brown. Well, I know, can't sometimes, win. Sometimes you just got to go with the brown avocado. <laughs> well, okay. I do. I eat them anyway. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to go in there, and again, that's going to give it a little more richness and a little more fat for the dish. You're going to melt it in there. And then just a little more salt. This and looks incredible. Ready. And then just for fun. <laughs> one shot before and <laughs> one know, shot man. after. A little extra. There you go. Really, the, the tequila is key to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's really, you really want to taste it. It's almost like a, an edible cocktail. Oh, that's okay. really what you're trying okay. to do. So, All right, we're ready to go here. It's beautiful. It smells oh, it's amazing. Smell Lenny, doesn't that smell amazing? Oh, it's like we're in Mexico again. <laughs> this is something they would serve. Absolutely. Look at that. So all your little shrimp are nice and curly and mm -hmm. pink. That's how you know they're ready. That sauce really developed. So this Beautiful. is almost like a berblanc sauce, a butter sauce. I was going to say, it reminded me of a berblanc sauce. What are you really going to say? <laughs> You've come so I'm far. I was just going to say, that sauce looks You're, great. I'm so impressed with you. You've come so far. <laughs> I really in, in this cooking segment. And Do you then, remember one time, so he's been coming on the show for years and years, and he decided one time that he would actually quiz us on all of the things he's taught us over the years. And do you remember how well we did? Yeah, y'all didn't do as well as I thought. I was we a little, failed. I, actually, I failed. No, you didn't. We just I failed listening. you. Yeah, I'm not being a good no, instructor. No, you're a great but anyways, teacher. This is really oh, delicious. You can beautiful. actually put this over pasta if you wanted to, if you really want to get crazy. That was my question. What mm -hmm. could you put it over? What carb? Rice, any kind of starch. Uh, you could even put it. Uh, you could even put it over some plantains, like mashed. It's called oh. mafungo, which is like a mashed plantain with some bacon. Okay. Um, you could put that over there as well. Okay. And then you want a little more tequila in there? Or you no, gonna... I'm good. I was actually going to give this bite to Lenny because his little mouth is watering. <laughs> Lenny, are you going to? Can you eat this and film? I think you can I do think it. Yeah. Come on, come on. He's going to a new, a new world here. Look at that three-dimensional. Choo choo. You got it, Lenny. Don't touch the hot part. I was just going to feed you with a fork. 
Sorry, he took it took it with his hand. Huh? Mm. Delish? Yeah. Okay. All right. Lenny's well. a fan. I guess I'll try a bite now. Okay, tell us what you're up to and how people can get oh, in contact with you. Well, I just you. closed down the Directors Club, which was awesome over at Rodeo, and now I'm shifting gears into Taste of the Republic. Mm. And so we're super excited about that. We're going to be in the Alamo, and it's okay. going to be the best one we've ever done this year. I'm super excited. We've got a lot of great partners like Patron and, and High West and people that are coming in, mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to be awesome. That's delicious, by the way. Thank you. He's the best, guys. Give him a call. You can also go to his website, chefbrianwest.com, if you would like to get in touch with him. Like we say, like we've always said, he's a jack of all trades. He does everything. He'll even paint your fingernails and braid your hair. <laughs> I do those little bedazzlers. Yeah, too. he really does. Too. Thank you for being here, friend. And we'll post the recipe on our website, watchdaytime.com.